That's the tread pattern <laughs> of the tire. <laughs> I'm Robert from Force Performance and what I got here is my 2002 Chevy Boost Ho and what we're going to do today is go dyno it. So we've just installed a production model of my HD7582 turbocharger and uh, we're going to start off dynoing this today uh, over at LG uh, Motorsports uh, just down the road here. For dynoing this today, uh, we're just going to do some shakedown pulls on it and see what happens. Low boost, 910 PSI is what I've got it set out right now. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly where that'll let us, but uh, we just want to start there and work our way up. Again, this is the HD7582 Turbo. This is one of my Stage 1 turbochargers for just getting into adding a turbo to a truck engine. As you can see, it's a single turbo mount over on the side. uses all the popular crossover tube and T4 single turbo stuff for the passenger side. Uh, so, uh, 75 millimeter compressor wheel, 75 by 105 millimeter compressor wheel, 87 by 82 millimeter turbine wheel, and uh, you get your on this one you get your choice of 110 or a 125 turbine housing. So, uh, larger engines like this one, the six liter, are going to run a 125 AR on it. Smaller engines like a 4.8 or a 5.3 probably want to put a put a 110 on it just to help it spool up and be a little torquier, unless you. Got a big uh, converter. If you've got a looser converter, you can kind of skip that, but that's more of a stage two, step two kind of thing. Uh, so st this, this, the step one stuff is not necessarily a really loose converter, not necessarily a really built engine, not necessarily a lot of boost pressure, but I just want to get started and get the turbo on it and have some fun, and that's what we're going to do today. stalls high, which means I can't just start to pull at 2500 RPM because I'm right in the middle of a slush box converter. So uh, we're going to lock the converter and we're going to start at a little bit higher, like, like 3000 RPM, 3500 RPM, uh, so that we're not really dynoing a converter. We're just going to dyno it in third gear, locked up. So that's the next pass we're going to do. That was about 9 PSI and maybe about 600 horsepower. 590. Five horsepower on SAE and uncorrected, it was like six of something. So we'll see what happens next. I dropped the tax signal, I don't know if the tax signal came off or something, but it went from 5,000 to like 9,000 RPM when the sack tax signal went away, so I lived in the same. It's not a full pull, but uh, locking it worked a lot better, so on the right track. Okay, so I'm sort of figuring some things out. I've got to lock the converter, I've got to lock the torque converter clutch, and uh, my tack signal is not picking up very good at the motor. And I really want to do all these graphs in RPM and not just mile an hour because I want to show you guys the power band it's like on the six liter. So, I'm um, figuring out how to improve the tack signal for the dyno, and uh, we're going to go from there because it's just been kind of sketchy. And you know, watching the tack on the on the dyno display instead of the one in the console because it's a stock console and goes to six thousand. And as I'm watching the dyno display, it rips up to five, and then and then it just kind of flashed, and then 
pegged over to like nine on the diner display. So I lifted, but that just resulted in me like just stopping the pull at 5,000 RPM. It didn't really go to 9,000 RPM for some reason. It just didn't have a tax signal that was working pretty good. So uh, fixing that now, and uh, we'll do another pull here in a minute. problem that we're having on the Caruso today uh, is spinning the tires a lot. Uh, they're just they're just 275 you know, street tires for doing burnouts and stuff. So uh, if we don't get the traction we need by turning the air pressure down to 30 and uh, putting some guys in the back of the truck here, uh, we're just going to have to call it for a day and go get the bigger uh, sticky tires. Because this is only nine pounds boost, and it's already making 600 horsepower, and then, and then it's uh, tires breaking loose. So I mean, we're not going to get to 20 this way. We're not going to get to 20 psi this way on these tires, I don't think. But we're going to see what happens here. We'll let this down to uh, 29 or 30 psi. Put a little more sticky, tacky stuff on the rollers. Try it again. See if we can get it to stick. Uh, but we might be just revisiting this with uh, the bigger tires uh, on the different day. So we just have to see how it goes. Only nine PSI, we just can't hang on to it already. Colors, but in the in the water grooves. So that's the you that's can see the tread pattern. That's the tread pattern <laughs> of the tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah. So, wow. So it just needs a needs more traction. <laughs> a little bit. Done. 